Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Elio? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, bad, really bad. Really? Yes, uh, let me see. Yes, I can hear you. Let me see, can, can you, you hear, hear me, me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, it bad, I, I, I was telling you uh, bad, bad because I had a, a, a deep age mm -hmm. all this week and I went to the medical, to the odontology, mm -hmm. to the, uh, uh, I, I need a endodontia, how, how do you say endodontia? A uh, root canal. A root canal, yes, I need a root canal. And he start to screw my 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 premolar, and really hard because the 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 anesthesia didn't work. And he put three times the anesthesia, and I feel like 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 she was um I introduced him something in my eye like a una aguja. How, how can I say aguja? Uh, like a needle, like a needle. Like I, I felt like a needle was introducing in my eyes. Um, really, I, I didn't support. He told me that I need, I have an infection in the, in that, in the tooth, in the, in the tooth. Mm -hmm. and I need to wait because the, we cannot the the the, the anesthesia doesn't work with an infection. That is the reason that it hurt me too much. Really, really. Really horrible. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, you can imagine that. I'm sorry for you, Olio, but now you're better that the doctor fixed yes. the problem or not. By the moment, by the moment, because I need she, she needs to see me again on next Tuesday. On next Next Tuesday, you will be seen again yes. by the doctor and uh, she will fix the problem. Yes. Okay, very it good. Good. Very good. Okay, I, I wish you good luck, uh, Elio, with your tooth and hopefully you're not going to have any problem in the future, okay? Perfect. Let's see. Thank you for being yeah. here, yeah. Estela and Diego. Let's see what who else is here. Elizabeth. Thank you for being here. We are going to review a little bit of uh, the information that we were studying before. So let me see here. This was about the past, right? The past experiences. So we are going to finish that topic because tomorrow is the last day of the class. I don't know if you have any questions about the platform, any doubt, any problem. If you don't have any problem, we can continue. Preguntas acerca de la plataforma, algo que les haga falta, algo que no hayan completado, algún error que les haya dado. Something like that. If you have any problem, let me know. So we finish section one, section two, section three, section four, section five, and we have the final exam, right? Final exam is just four questions. So if you have any problem or any questions about that, let me know. Also, tomorrow we will have like a quiz, like a final quiz, right? Just to review a little bit of the information that we have studied before. Let's see here, teacher, estaré solo como Okay, Nady, no problem. We are going to practice a little bit of, um, of the English that we studied yesterday. And let me see here. Now, this is this, the information that we were studying yesterday referring on time in the past. Like we were using like this kind of words during, in, ago, since, uh, four right from 1960 to 1970, since 1800 for around 220 years. So we were talking about referring to the past about uh, with these sentences. Then do you remember our um, 
Can you give me an example using during, for example, during 1990 or during uh, 1980? Can you give me an example using during? Using during only. Or in or ago or since also, right? For example, uh, uh -huh. go walking. Go walking, uh-huh. Uh, th just that, go walking. Go walking to the, to the supermarket. Go walking to the supermarket. Okay, now I need you to use any um any uh, like this right during in or since or from or to right to refer time in the past para referirnos al tiempo en el pasado por ejemplo during the 1940s or in the 1940s or over the 60 years right the world war second took place or um i am studying english since 2017 right Estoy estudiando inglés desde el 2017, ¿verdad? O oh, um, something from you, right? Um, I graduated from high school. Me gradué del bachillerato in 1998, for example, right? I have an example. Okay, Elizabeth, go ahead. Okay. I have been sick since um, last week. Very good. I have been sick since last week. Very good. He estado enferma desde la semana pasada. Is that true or is just an example? Is that true? That's true. Okay. What What did you have? Like, uh, do you have the flu or something like that? Mm, headache. I have Sorry? a headache. Headaches. Uh -huh. Okay, and that's like a migraine, migraña, migraine. Mm. No, no sé cómo decirle que es intermitente. Uh, It's uh, like sporadic, let's say. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you will find like a solution for your problem. Also, Elio had a problem, right, with his tooth. He had like endodoncia, a root canal, and he suffered a lot. Uh, he was telling me that. So I think that a lot of us are kind of sick right now, but probably will get better next year, right? Or at the end of the year for Christmas or or New Year. Okay, I'm sorry for you, Elizabeth. Thank you for uh, this e e example. Actually, really good because we use since, right? I have been sick since last week. We can use it in this way, right? I have been sick since last week. Yesterday, we were checking this information also ago. I moved here like 10 years ago. I have worked for this company since 2018, et cetera, right? Um, during, right, also, Color TV was invented in or during the 1950s, right? Or if we have to say something from this uh, year to another year, I was in high school from 2008 to 2011 so we can use it in that way also yesterday we were checking the vocabulary right achievement assassination discovery election uh epidemic revolution and terrorist act and also as um as a homework i ask you to investigate a little bit from your past right i would like i wanted to tell me like what trends do you remember that you lived in the past, right? When you were in high school or when you were studying or when you were working in another place, something that you remember from El Salvador or from this uh, time, right? In the past or any other time or, or any other place. Did you investigate about the trends that we have in El Salvador or in other any other place before? I have an, uh, an story uh -huh. about that. Uh-huh, very good, go ahead. I I want to be honest. I wrote I wrote, but I don't want to to read it. I am going to try to say by heart by. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, in nineteen eighty one, I had participated in the in the as an army officer. Mm -hmm. 
in the internal war in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, I... I will get. I will tell you about one of, of the fight or, or the combat that I that I participate. Okay. In 1983, when the Chalatenango barra was attacked by the guerrillas, mm -hmm. um, my platoon, an armored squadron, was assigned to go in support. And it was at 12 o'clock when I received the mission. Mm -hmm. I was working in the cabal, cavalry regiment. Mm -hmm. It took it took two hours to arrive to that place. When I when I reached to the first brigade, infantry brigade, mm -hmm. the commander in chief of that mm -hmm. unit uh, talked to me and say, God bless you, because from here to, Chala, to the Chalatenango city is all an ambush. All the way down is, is an ambush. Mm -hmm. You need to, to take your, your prevention because it's really dangerous. And I put in order of battle with my armor unit. Mm -hmm. And I... <clears throat> I I travel uh, along the, the that highway, which was full of ambush, became mm -hmm. where because they were shooting us from all direction. Mm -hmm. After an hour to be crossing minefields, I managed to arrive at the city of Chalatenango at four thirty in the morning mm -hmm. and the last uh, fighting took place there and um, we were able to gain the control of the area and, and because the, the guerrillas put uh, away the uh, attack the, the the jail all the prisoners are, are captured they put away the all the prison mm -hmm. or the all the the acid, the the people who is uh, who is uh, in jail like assassina uh, like uh, uh, bad people mm -hmm. and I arrived there and put the control of the area and I check off if my soldier was injured but mm -hmm. nobody was injured and or death. From then, um, from then, um, from then on, they left me for a month in in that in that barrack in the north of the El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Force barrack facilities for a month. I stay for a month, uh, giving security to that area because my unit was mobile. Uh, was was uh, has is a. Uh, it has protection with with heavy material, and sometimes they can shoot. But is if if just a, a a rocket can be destroyed my unit, mm -hmm. that is the reason that is that I I leave I leave that situation. One of one of the combat that I had understood. Yes, yes, was yes. really was really interesting actually because I I um actually I many many people now nowadays we haven't lived this kind of situation uh but it's kind of interesting to know about the history, right? Yes. Okay, Sandra, no problem. Uh about that's part of our history and that's that really happened and actually I guess that was kind of hard to live that and being uh, in danger as you did, and also to travel different places like Chalatenango as you did. And I, I don't know if you uh, were afraid of being shot or if you got injured in any of your combats. Uh, yeah, I was young, 
a, a, a young guy. I, was, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel any afraid. I, I was, I got the the adrenaline. Mm -hmm. How can you say adrenaline? Adrenaline. The adrenaline was working in in a. In a I, I I I when I think in that period of time that I that I passed this situation, I I think it was stupid because mm -hmm. I could be die, and I didn't I with I didn't. I didn't this I didn't discuss about any mission that they gave me because this is one I participated in many in many mm -hmm. in many. For example, when the election in one when the president Napoleon Darte was elected, mm -hmm. I give the security in some dangerous places in Salvador in the election, and was really really conflicting in, in areas. That's really dangerous. Yes, because <laughs> if I were living in that in that in your situation, probably, uh, hopefully not. But I would be afraid, right, of dying. Or I'm going to lose an eye. I'm going to lose my hand. But you feel that the adrenaline that you didn't think about that. You were just yeah. fighting. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good point of view. Very good. Thank you for your experience, Elio. I don't know if somebody else uh, investigated about different trends. Probably not war, right? But uh, I don't know if you remember something about your past or when you were at school or at the university, or probably last year, right? I don't know if you remember any, or anybody investigated about this? Somebody else? I, I, I'm not sure, but the, I, I investigate about a uh, uh, history or an uh, event that suits in the past, right? Okay. But but no, it's, a, no, it's about the trend, but... <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that is the second historical event, right? Like historical event. Uh, why did you investigate about this? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try with my camera uh, turn on, right? Okay, you <clears> can <throat> share if you prepare a presentation. Also, you can share your your screen if you prepare pictures or something like that. You can share it. Not really, but okay. I, I'm I'm gonna try to explain that because it's about my my career, right? Okay, perfect. And is is about the the eruption of the Santa Ana volcano mm -hmm. in in two thousand five. Mm -hmm. So it it's I, I live in Santa Ana, right? It, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so for I study in, in Santa Ana in at the University of El Salvador, mm -hmm. and for my career is is a very important event because. Um, we do a lot of studies there. So, mm -hmm. and, and some professors and, and, and were in, in the place and yeah. they, they, they did monitoring. Yeah, that's, I think that's it. Uh, they did monitoring in, in, in the volcano some days uh, before the eruption. So they was there and, and one day before the eruption, they was uh, near the volcano, no, so uh, monitoring the area, and I, I don't know, but it's it's a difficult uh, was a difficult uh, event for the people that live in in near the volcano because uh, there are the mix of of two events. Because the the hurricane uh, or or the, the the storm I don't remember it is uh, I I have writing here a stand the the stand a uh, hurricane mm -hmm. uh, was uh, in in the moment right and and the people uh, was uh, doing the the evacuation in 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 the middle of the storm. Uh, so for that was very difficult and the the, the explosion of, of the volcano uh, it, it is correct that they say eject yeah right yes. eject uh, uh, rocks and 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 that erupt uh, uh magma and and magma is, is, is I don't know what, but is 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 literally the 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 melt uh, or the melted rock and and uh, and that that's that's it. 
really and 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 that was a, a very strong event and, and the, the the people that uh, guard, uh guard, i don't know the, the how do you say guardabosques oh, uh, for forest i will look for it right now because i have a lot of words but yes let's oh, say okay. guardabosques right now yes go ahead uh, okay 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 so so the guardabosques said that uh that was the they was very scary because and the the thunders and and so the lightning too in, in the volcano was was very strange uh, scene and and but uh, my professor said me that they uh, knew that the that the volcano uh, was going to erupt right because mm -hmm. they was uh, monitoring the the area and the volcano. And now is is being uh, monitoring, uh, but um, uh, with a uh, well camera and uh, with a uh, tele detection or I don't know is remote sensing that uh, it's all about that. And so, but I think that this is a very cool, tragical event because two persons died they died in in the in the volcano eruption. But I think that for my career is an interesting uh, historical event. But for the people that was in in the in the in the event, uh, was very very difficult situation. And, and there's adding to, to that the 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 storm or the hurricane in a, a stand was a very difficult that that the the column of the ash and 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 gas was. That I remember that uh, took uh, and a half kilometers and about the the rock and the volcanic rock uh, around the volcano is about the one and a half million of material. So it is was a very very uh, big eruption because that, that a a great or or a, a index of three and and eight the volcano is a three or eight index of explosion. So that that is a very very interesting for me, and that's all. I think that that's that's all about the this event. Okay, very good. Yes, I didn't remember that because that happened in Santa Ana. That's correct, and there were a lot of a lot of ash and a lot of like magma, as you said before. A ranger is the name of guardabosques, right? Ranger. So ranger. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. And yeah. Also, the, 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 yes. The ranger said that dad was very scary because uh, he was taking her, her uh, uh, the breakfast right so because uh, the 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 explosion the first explosion was at, at the, the eight o'clock uh, and so and and that that is uh, interesting and and i i don't know but uh, that was uh, 70 years ago uh, I was very, very, very. I, I was a child, right? And yes. yeah, I don't remember uh, a lot of things, but but I I I, I was uh, six years old because mm -hmm. was in in two thousand five, and it's it's very very interesting for me when the people uh. uh Talk with me uh, about that, right? My uh, in my for and for my career is 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 more interesting. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, it's interesting actually because uh, now there was another volcano. What is the name of the volcano that was like kind of active? Chaparrastique, right? Yeah, Chaparrastique or or San Miguel volcano. San Miguel volcano. Now it's, it's, it's come sound like Kipri. Yes, but now, uh, did you notice that many volcanoes like were active in different parts of the world? That was kind of weird because it was here in El Salvador and other volcanoes from Indonesia. And I don't know if yeah. they're connected or something like that, but they were kind of active yes. and that's they're connected, right? Yeah, yeah, but but they but they I don't know how do you say uh, the the fire I don't remember that the, the cinturon uh, fire. Uh, Cinturón de Fuego. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, for that, uh, the, 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 the volcanoes uh, in the area are connected. 
not uh, it's a really connection that when one uh, volcano uh, started with a, a, a eruption right uh, another volcano but it's is very common in 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 El Cinturón de Fuego right okay i understand yeah because i was kind of that's kind of strange because this volcano was like uh, active and then other volcano in another part of the world and i said what's happening <laughs> right but yeah it's, <laughs> it it makes sense right because they're part of the they are connected they're part of uh, one thing right the, the earth right so yeah very good very good interesting very good caesar i don't know if we have any other another historical event that you have investigated something else Somebody else, any historical event about, I don't know, uh, the moon landing, I don't know if you believe this or how you live the pandemic, right? The first time that you listen that we are going to be uh, in inside of our houses, that you're not allowed to leave the house. Or I don't know if you want to talk about the sports or any history from El Salvador. Somebody else investigated something else? Alguien más investigó algo? No? Uh, me teacher. Okay, Rebecca, what did you investigate? I investigated the earthquake of October 1986 in El Salvador. Okay, yes, that's also very, really uh, part of the El Salvador history. What did you investigate? Well, uh, the earthquake was started at 11 for 49 in the morning mm -hmm. in, in the city of San Salvador. And that will become the the ten catastrophe mm -hmm. that destroyed the city. This earthquake struck uh, around ten minutes with a magnitude of five point seven. It was located seven kilometers from the center center of the capital city. In addition, the quake caused between 1,000 and 5,000 deaths, 10,000 10, injuries, and left 200,000 homeless. The caused the destruction of many buildings as a result of the earthquake. Many buildings were affected, such as the Benjamin Bloom Children's Hospital in San Salvador, Mm -hmm. uh, markets, many restaurants, offices, and neighborhoods around the, the city. Okay, very good. Yes, I re I don't remember that because I I I guess I was a, a baby at that time. But yes, uh, many people have talked to me about that earthquake, and that was a big earthquake, right? Also, we have we have many earthquakes. Uh, fortunately, we haven't felt. Uh, strong or a big one recently but that that's interesting thank you Rebecca uh, somebody else investigated something else alguien más investigó algo más I don't investigate but mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I have very nervous <laughs> okay. I want to tell you something about something that happened to me um, 17 years ago Okay. Okay. Uh, I was to the in high school and mm -hmm. and outside I had a ride before seven I am mm -hmm. to the institute and it was a Thursday and I had a mathematic exam. Mm -hmm. The day uh, when I arrived, I feel that um. I put my head on, on the desk and my stomach hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. And I could move. The first my teacher throws that and I did um want to take the exam. Mm -hmm. And she said for my sister, we also studied here. And I told her that mm -hmm. I really was bad, and they uh, took um, um they took me to mm -hmm. the clinic, and here, and here my mother arrived, mm -hmm. and they told me 
and hear that they were going to send to my, uh, to the hospital. And when I arrived, they told me uh, I had appendicitis. And in this in this moment, they operated uh, on me immediately. It, wow, it's very, uh, as in, well, very horrible <laughs> for me. Yeah, but Just that. the pain was really bad, right? I've heard that the pain yes. is really bad, really strong. But after that, after the surgery, did you have any complication after appendicitis? No, I don't have it. No. Okay. Yeah, I've never had that. I have heard some friends that they have appendicitis and they said that it's really bad. But uh, fortunately, nothing uh, bad or nothing oh. else happened. Very oh. good, Elizabeth. That was really good. Very good experience. Now, no, uh, no, it's good experience. No, no, <laughs> as an example, right? As an English example. But not, not, it's not good to be sick. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. Uh, somebody else? Alguien más? No one else? Okay, perfect. Uh, we are going to continue with the class and we are going to keep on um, working on historical events and also how to say, right? As a review, um, I just want you to help me with this, this exercise. It says, complete the par paragraph with the following words. During, in, ago, since, from, and for. And this is related to planet Pluto, right? Something that was discovered. It says, the planet Pluto was discovered. And mm. what is... In, okay, let's in. see, yes, in, in 1930, scientists accepted this for many years, for many years, okay, let's see, many years, but the 1970s here, since, since, let's see, since the 1970s, some began to question if Pluto was indeed a planet. Now here, 2008, what, what do we need to write here? During, since, in, for? In. During, maybe during. During yeah. or in. Okay, let's see during. And I'm going to, because somebody, I guess Raphael said in. Let's see. During or in 2008, after a long debate, Pluto was downgraded to a new category called dwarf planet. That time, our solar system has had only eight planets. What do we need to write here? In that oh. time. In that time, let's see. In that time. So we're going to check the, the answers right now. Let's see. The planet Pluto was discovered in 1930. Yes, in 1930. Scientists accepted this for many years. Yes, for many years. Perfect. But since the 1970s, in this case was during, right? But during the 1970s, some began to question if Pluto was indeed a planet. In 2008, we can use during also. Yes, I guess that is acceptable. Um, after a long debate, Pluto was downgraded to a new category called dwarf planet. Since that time, our solar system has had only eight planets. So in that time, since desde ese tiempo, desde ese entonces, nuestro planeta solar ha tenido solo ocho planetas. But I guess Pluto is a planet again, right? I guess. But perfect. Very good. Now, I in the presentations, I heard also a word, um, people, right? You were talking about people. People were saying this. People were doing this. So how do I say people is? Or people are. What is the correct way? People, people is. Are. People is. People is or people are. I think people is. is. You use people. Just people is. It. It, it okay. must be is. But you say some people is are. Okay. Very good. Very good point of view. In this case, is people are right. People are. Some people are or people are. So in, if it is in the past, people was or people were? 
So if if, if in the people in the were. Classes, people were. <laughs> people know. were exactly right. Exactly. But I don't understand really. Yes. In Spanish, we say la gente es, ¿verdad? La gente es, o la gente eh, eh, está, ¿verdad? La gente es, o cero estar. But in, in English, is are, is not people is. People is, no, people are, right? So we are going to say people are, right? If we are going to talk about people in general. So people are, people were, uh, people or they. Remember that people are they, right? People, they, they are. So that's what you are going to learn. People is, no. Perfect. Now we have um, a pronunciation also. Your pronunciation is really good, actually. You're really fluent. Uh, we just need to practice a little bit more. And I understand that probably it's kind of difficult for you to practice English if you don't have any other way to practice. But we are going to practice a little bit here. This is just a, is a syllable stress. Um, for example, in this case, um, sometimes we don't know how to say uh, some words, right, or long words. For example, this one. How do you say this one, the first one? Identify. Identify or identify, right? Identify. And we can see the syllable stress here, identify, right? So it's the stress in the word. How do you say the second one? The second one. Disadvantage. 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 Exactly. Disadvantage. Exactly. Disadvantage. Right. And the third one is communication. Communication. Right. Let's see. Uh, identify. Disadvantage. Communication. Right. Let's see, um, Zero, are you there, Zero? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, always, perfect. Always, always. Always ready, right? Very good, perfect. So how do you say the first word, the, this one? Appreciate. Very good, appreciate, right? Appreciate. Appreciate. Appreciate, mm -hmm. very good. So the C is like, sh like she right appreciate very good appreciate and we have syllable stress also appreciate let's see elizabeth how do you say the second word um assassination very good assassination right assassination assassination perfect let's see another person uh, Zulma, how do you say the third one, la tercera, Zulma? Um, catastrophe. Very good, catastrophe. Very good, catastrophe. Uh, catastrophe, okay. right? Catastrophe. Uh, we can say, yeah, catastrophe. You see the, the syllable stress is different in long words. Is You can check it more. Let's see, Rodrigo, are you there, Rodrigo? Rodrigo, Daniel, or Rodrigo, Antonio, any? Yes, teacher. Okay, how do you say the, the number four, la cuarta? How do you say this? Consideration. Very good, consideration, right? Consideration, consideration, no, consideration. Repeat, please, Rodrigo. Consideration. Very good, perfect consideration. Let's see another person, Rebecca. How do you say this, the, the next one? Conversation. Conversation, right? Conversation. And the last one, let's see, Rafael. How do you say the last one? Revolution. Revolution, very good, revolution. So. These words, they have different stress, so you need to practice. Uh, you can check the link here. Yo cuando les voy a compartir esta presentación, solo le dan el link y van a poder practicar la, la pronunciación. Okay, you will be able to practice. Notice the secondary stress. Identify. Disadvantage. Communication. 
Page 65, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen to the words in the box. Which syllable has the main stress? Write the words in the correct column in Part A. Appreciate. Assassination. Catastrophe. Consideration. Conversation. Revolution. Good. Perfect. So you see, if you have any word that you don't, you don't know how to say or you don't know how to pronounce, you can... Um, you can use this, right? You can use this, like, for example, appreciate assassination. And I will show you another page. Let me see if I can find it here. This is like a tool for you to practice your English. These are some tools, right? So um, let me see if I can find it here. And in this page, you will be able to find any word if you have any doubt like how to pronounce how to pronounce it you will be able to to find it here like for example Elio tell me one word that is difficult for you identify okay very good let's see so I don't know how to say identify right so in Let's say, it. so you are going to see here um, videos, videos from people saying this word in youenglish.com, right? Let's see. You need to identify the moments in a process when you can actually catch a problem before it's a danger and do something about it. You have to identify that this is a before takeoff checklist. And then you need to focus on the killer items. An aviation checklist like this one for a single engine plane isn't a recipe for how to fly a plane. It's a reminder of the key things that get forgotten or missed if they're not checked. Okay, so you see that he was talking about identify, right? We can say identify or identify. It's okay both. So it's identify, right? Another word that you don't know how to say. Somebody else, I can... ¿Alguien más? ¿Una palabra que les cueste? Sí. Eh, comfortable. Oh, very good. Comfortable. Let me see. So I don't know how to say this word. And I have a presentation, right, for example. So I write it. And then I look for it here. And I will listen to a video. Let's see. Of life. And and it's not, it's not a genuine or or comfortable or truly available self. The ego self is by nature defended and pushes life away. So you can't really make contact and bring your gifts forward. Bringing, because I always felt completely comfortable designing my life exactly as I saw fit. And in point of fact, I took a, a route that was not exactly what my parents had in mind. When I was 19, I dropped out of college, Dropped out, kicked out, splitting hairs. <laughs> and then they always feel comfortable articulating publicly. Yeah. Is, it, is it difficult to see? So you, you see, you have a lot of, uh, these are formal uh, videos, and you can see here uh, the text, and you can uh, also have the definition. Say here. in the political. So you can say comfortable, or you can say comfortable, uh, both are okay, comfortable or comfortable. Very good. Another word, the last one, la ultima. Alguien más? La ultima palabra que quieren que busque, the last word that I'm going to look. Island. Uh, isla, isla. Isla, okay. Let's see how, how do you pronounce isla. Let's see. and sail from island to island all over the planet and some of the islands have villages that you can stay and visit and sleep under the shadow of Jupiter and then there's this other island where there's just one songwriter who sits and plays mandolin for the ocean and then there are others where there's no one 
and there never has been. And so you go just for the pleasure of touching your foot to sand that no foot has ever touched before. Public housing also developed an island of parks. And if you go there, you'll see how much of it is Greenland and Parkland. Cities are doing this, but not just... ...on the aptly named Devil's Island, which is this barren rock off the coast of South America. Ferguson, Missouri. His death, along with the events in Cleveland, Staten Island, Baltimore, Cincinnati, and other... So if you don't believe your teacher, or if you have any doubt, or if you say, oh, that's not possible, that's not how it's not pronounced, or you forgot the pronunciation, you can use this page, you English, or yes, you English, right? You English or you English.com. And you can look, you can Google it and you can find all of these videos. So the, pronunci the pronunciation of Isla in English is island, right? Island. So um, very good, perfect. Now we are going to continue with the class. Hopefully this will help you a lot in the future let's see what else we have here so we already checked this this is just a review uh this the information the, this information you already have it in the platform right like how to use uh, a go in or during in different times in the past right for example rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago hace 50 años right Disco became a craze in 1975, in 1975, not on, right, or at. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s, during the 1990s, right? Also, uh, since and for, right? So the United Nations has existed since 1945, so desde, verdad? Desde hasta ahora. Or the United Nations has existed for over 60 years. And also for, right, for two weeks, por dos semanas, or for three hours, por tres horas. For is para lo más, lo largo del tiempo que ha durado algo, ¿verdad? For two weeks, for three hours. For example, I've been sick for one week. Or I can say also I've been sick since last week, right? Since last week. And also if we can, uh, if we want to specify a period of time in the past, we can uh, use this right, right from to uh, World War II lasted for four years or World War II lasted from 1914 to 1918. Perfect. So this is was, this was just um, a review. Now we are going to talk about future events. Um, let's see here. Yesterday we were talking about this, right? We were talking about this conversation and we practiced this conversation, but this conversation was something in the future, right? That was going to happen in the future. So how can we say something that will happen or that we think uh, will happen, right? Like predictions, right? So we will see this really fast and probably we will have um, uh, a homework at the end of this. It says you can use will to make predictions about future events or situations, you can use the future continuous, future continuous is the tense, right? To make predictions about actions in progress in the future. And use the future perfect to say that an action will be completed before a point of time in the future. So we can use future continuous or future perfect. Podemos usar los dos, el futuro continuo o el futuro perfecto para hacer predicciones, okay? In the future, most students will take classes from home. Ten years from now, I will be living in Los Angeles. Before I get married, I will have graduated from college. You see, we are using the future with will. The future continues, will be living, or the future perfect, will have graduated. So this is uh, this these three tenses, we can use them, right? Will, it says you can use will to say what you think will happen in the future. Para decir que, que, que creemos que va a pasar en el futuro, right? We use this structure, subject plus will plus verb plus complement. Families will travel to space on vacation. Gasoline won't be used as much. We will use green energy. Most people will drive electric cars. Future continues, right? You can use it to say it 
that an action will be in progress in the future. Subject plus will plus be plus verb in ing plus complement. My friends and I will be working from home. More people will be using TikTok to make money. Robots will be cooking for us. That's a prediction in the future that will happen in the future, right? That will be happening. Future perfect. Use the future perfect to say that an action will be completed by a certain time. So we see here the period of time or point in time plus subject plus will have plus past participle plus complement. And we have the examples, right? By 2050, a company will have built a hotel in space. In or within 10 years, many islands will have disappeared because of global warming. Before 2030, scientists will have found a cure for boldness. Okay, do you have any question about this? Preguntas acerca de esto? What's the meaning of uh, boldness? Boldness. Okay, perfect. Good question. Do you see the picture here? This is bold. This is a bold man. So it's the, he is bold. Boldness is? Calvo. Uh -huh, exactly. Calvicie. He is bold. Él es calvo, ¿verdad? Boldness, calvicie. Very good. Perfect. Another question about this future perfect, future continuous, will. This is the new topic for today, right? Preguntas or everything is clear. La corchara. Everything is clear. Okay, you have this information also in the platform. Okay, this is the information that you have in the platform, and we can see different um, examples, right? For example, to predict the futures with will, computers will recognize any voice command. You will need keyboard. Actually, we are living kind of that situation right now nowadays also use future continues to predict ongoing actions right people will be living in cities under the ocean probably probably not right or use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time within 20 years scientists will have discovered a cure for boldness or by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars. So you can check here um, the structure, right? Will or want plus the base verb will be plus the present participle. Present participle is the one with ing, right? Will be living, will be performing, or the future perfect will have plus the past participle will have discovered or will have set up. So you have to remember past participles. Tienen que acordarse de los past participles también. Since you don't have any questions, I need you to help me again to complete these six sentences. Para terminar, vamos a completar estas, me van a ayudar a completar estas oraciones, right? Using the future, future perfect, future continuous, or will. Can be any of them. So let's complete them, okay? Let's see here. It says, in 10 years, flights from New York to Tokyo will take. Will take. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Will take less than two hours. Number two, soon they sell computers that can translate perfectly from one language to another. They will be selling. They will be selling. Okay, let's see. Very good, Elliot. Very good. And number three, by the middle of the 21st century, scientists discover a way to prevent aging. We'll have, we'll have discovered. We'll have discovered. Very good. Let's see. Number four, sometime in the future, scientists invent a machine that tra transmits our thoughts. Will invent. invent. Will invent. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Inventing. Will have invented. Will have invented. Okay, so future perfect. Okay, let's see. Will have invented. Number five. Mm -hmm. In the future, people live 
on the moon? We live. We'll live. Okay. Yes, very good. In less than a decade, the polar ice caps melt. We will have will have melted. Will have melted. Let's let's see. Now let's see the the answer for number one. You said will take flight from New York. Tokyo will take and yes will take soon they will be selling computers yes will be selling computers number three by the middle of the 21st century scientists will have discovered will discover or will be discovering right and um, will have discovered yeah it can be acceptable also yeah and let's see number four sometime in the future scientists will have invented a machine that transmits our thoughts. We'll invent, right? We'll invent. Or we'll have invented. Yeah, it's acceptable also. In the future, people will live. Oh, sorry. Sometime in the future, yes. In the future, people will live or will be living. Both are correct. La, en el futuro, gente vivirá o estará viviendo en la luna, right? And number six, in less than a decade, the polar ice caps will have melted. That's correct. Will have melted. En menos de una década, las capas de hielo polar se habrán derretido. Habrán derretido. Very good. Perfect. So you can use uh, any of any of them. So you just need to use it properly. For example, here with the future perfect, we use a period of time, like in 10 years, before 2030, by 2050. Uh, so something that will be happening, right? By that time will be finished. That action will be finished by that time. And the future continues. Something that will be happening at that time. We don't know when it, it will start, but I know or we believe that it will be happening at that moment. And uh, will is something that will happen, right? We don't know when exactly, but something that will happen. And we can use it with this structure, okay? So that is like the main difference. Like that's that's the sense, right? Something that will happen, so something that, that will be happening at the moment in the future, or something that have finished, right? That But will happen, something that uh, will be from this time to this time in the future, but it will be finished. So that is the difference. Questions about this? Preguntas? No, no questions? Are you sure? Yes, good. Perfect. Now, tomorrow we are going to check more vocabulary, but I have a homework for you. I don't want you to make predictions because we have investigated and probably we don't know what will happen in the future because nowadays it's like kind of um, crazy the world, right? With wars and pandemic, right? And crisis. But I want you to think about your dreams and goals for the future. Now that we are finishing this year, many people set goals or they say, ah, oh, next year I'm going to travel. And next year, I'm going to study this. Next year, I'm going to change my job, right? So I want you to think about something, like make a prediction for yourselves, right? Just one or two, una or dos predicciones, right? For the next year, for example, an activity that you would like to try, an experience that you would like to have, a skill that you like to develop, a city where you would like to live, a job you like to have or a person you like to meet, right? It's just a prediction. So probably many things may happen, right? It's just like a goal, but probably will happen, probably not. But I want you to create a prediction for you for 2023, okay? And tomorrow we are going to discuss about that. And also we are going to finish, right? Tomorrow is the last class. So you can bring food, you can bring Coca-Cola, you can bring different things and you can eat where you are, right? We are going to celebrate because we will be finishing um, this uh, module. And also we are going to finish this, these exercises. So do you have any questions about the, the activity for tomorrow? Preguntas? No. No. Okay. No, no questions? Okay. 
So I will take a picture of this and I will send it to the group so you can um, remind it. And if you have any question about, because tomorrow I guess it's the last day to finish um, the platform, please do it. And if you have any problem or any doubt, please let me know tomorrow, okay? So I will see you uh, tomorrow and have a nice night. And um, thank you for your commitment and your effort. Okay, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye.